Gracias. Ahora, un maestro que representaba a su provincia, corriendo 100 y 200 metros y saltando vallas. Él es también uno de mis cantantes y autores preferidos, con una increíble banda, creíble banda. El gran Sting.
Cuando vine a Buenos Aires el año pasado Yo he visto miles de fotografías de desaparecidos Hermosas jóvenes, jóvenes buen mozos Niños hermosísimos Yo me pregunto ¿Por qué la Junta Militar pensó que Chile, que Argentina podría crecer sin esa belleza? Yo me pregunto ¿Por qué la Junta Militar pensó que América Latina podría crecer sin ese espíritu? Yo me pregunto porque la Junta Militar pensó que el mundo podría crecer sin ese talento. Esta canción está dedicada a los familiares de los desaparecidos. Bailando solas Porque hay tristeza En sus miradas Hay soldados también Ignoran su dolor Porque desprecian El amor Bailan con los muertos que ya no están Amores indecibles Que dejan de danzar Bailan con sus padres Sus niñas también Y con sus esposos En soledad En soledad Silencio gritar No hay otra manera De protestar Si dijeran algo más Solo un poco más Otra no es seria torturada Con seguridad Bailan con los muertos que ya no están Amores en el cielo Dejan de danzar Bailan con sus padres Sus niños también Y con sus esposos En soledad En soledad Ellos bailan con los desaparecidos, bailan con los muertos, con amores invisibles. Bailan con sus padres, sus niños, con sus esposos. Ellos bailan solas, bailan solas. Hey, Mr. Pinochet, sus 
siempre huele mal Y ese dinero que recibe Pronto se terminará No podrá comprar más almas Ni a sus verdugos pagar Imagine a su madre Bailando sin bien soledad Bailan con los muertos Los que ya no están Amores invisibles No dejan de danzar Bailan con sus padres Sus niños también Y con sus esposos En soledad En soledad Madres de los que se aparecen. Muchas gracias.
mi amigo Bruce Springsteen. Every single day, every 
It's to think about human rights problems. Right now, people are too afraid of the government. Je pense que cette information est très importante. C'est euh, une des raisons pour moi d'être ici. Now a little bit of English. For me, the idea that we could go out and, and make a tour uh, to promote the Universal Declaration was very powerful because, because I think just putting this information out is in itself a very powerful act. Most people don't know that they have rights. And they certainly don't know that their government have actually agreed and accepted the rights that, that they have. I think rock music has a, a universal audience, and it's, it's really the first universal language. So if we can build that voice, that demand for human rights, and show all governments, show all politicians, that that requirement for them to honor their agreement is going to be universal, then perhaps we can worry them and embarrass them sufficiently that they will actually start practicing what they have promised, because promise they did. That one might be Sting's bag. Over there, that's Clarence's bags. That's definitely Clarence's bags. This is my best friend in the whole wide world here in Africa. I'm, I'm getting you on film and on camera now. I want you on video. We'll fill up this truck. The crew will fill up another truck. And that'll give us 400 bags. We then go to the airport. And we fill up the rear aft section of a DC-10. And then we proceed to fill up one of the other forward holds of a DC-10. So basically what you got is we're moving around with a lot of baggage. Today was the first time I cried at a rock and roll concert that I can remember. To see the sea of darkness, it was just so wonderful. To, me, to know that you're, you're part of something that has been here before, before time. You walk down the street and you see darkness, and it's, it's, it's a great feeling. I'm not speaking from a racial standpoint. I'm speaking from a standpoint of... of, of being a part of something, you know, and not a minority. Like I say, being a part of the majority, is, is a, it's a great feeling. We all need to, to have something like that to look to, you know. I mean, you know, I went to, I was in Israel, I went to Masada, and it's something that Jewish people, man, they hold that, that's so dear to them because they know that, hey, we, like, that was us, that was our thing, you know. Came from and it gives, them, it gives them a kind of inner strength. You know, and I think for me being here is that same kind of thing. It was an intense feeling. You know? <laughs> we wrote a song, um, Bruce and I and Peter wrote a song last week. It starts off, uh, <laughs> let's safari and Harari, let's get it on at Abishan. We'll free your captives and your prisoners. We will if anybody can. We're the good guys of the century. We hope old ladies cross the street. It goes on about helping old ladies cross the street. I'm not that good a guy, actually. <laughs> but I am a member of Amnesty International. I'm very pleased to be here in Africa, and particularly in Zimbabwe, where you have shown the world an example of a victory over oppression and, and I hope that will 
help speed about change in South Africa and get rid of the filthy apartheid system once and for all. Thank you. Any time a positive force like the world to our lands against the negative energy of the Republic of South Africa, uh, it's got to be good for this part of the world. And uh, I think that's why we're being so well received and why this tour means so much to this region that uh, there's still racism in the Republic of South Africa. And this kind of tour says it need not be and sets a different kind of vision for the future. Now, as a child, I imagined Africa as a land of overwhelming foreignness. My only impression of it was what I saw on the Late Show and the movies. And uh, as we drove into Harare the other night, I think the first thing I was struck by was its familiarity. It appeared sort of as a larger version of the town that I grew up in. And I realized that the, the racism that not long ago oppressed the people of Zimbabwe and that as we speak brutalizes and attempts to crush the spirit and freedom of the people of South Africa has its shadow image on the streets of my own hometown and my own country. There are no past laws, but a young black man walking through a wealthy white neighborhood will inevitably be stopped and questioned by the police. There is no systematic apartheid but we segregate our underclass in the ghettos of every major city in an economic apartheid. We live worlds apart, but it seems to be the same world. We live different lives, but we dream the same dreams. I'm proud to be in Zimbabwe and very happy to finally see Africa. first time of being in Africa and it's, it's this wonderful feeling. It's, it's a, a sense of pride that you get being a black person in Africa. I've, I've always wanted to come here and, uh, and see it and then feel it. But now we're traveling a lot of great musicians and the interaction between the, the musicians is wonderful. You know, I never got a chance to, to work out in the gym with Sting or uh, play basketball with, uh, with uh, uh, Peter Gabriel, uh, you know, all these kind of things. That the personal aspect uh, is, is really wonderful. And here's my train, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Article 20, it's a good one. One, everyone has the right to freedom of peaceful assembly and association. Two, no one may be compelled to belong to an association. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good article. I have no doubt when the phone calls the male come to Amnesty's offices that we're going to grow, especially in the third world. I don't think there's any doubt about it. But I also hope like 5, 10, 15 years from now, one of these kids, just one in each country will do fine. They'll become a human rights activist, stick by the declaration. It's all we need is some tough young kid to just come and to make their way, make their mark, and we need them. And all we need is one. It was great to be in, in both Harare and Abidjan. The audiences were very different. I was surprised in Harare that the audience was predominantly white, and you know, I had hoped to see a, a greater mix of people. And then in Abidjan, it was the total opposite. The audience was predominantly black. And it was just amazing, though, because the response in both cases was incredible.
Thanks. But if you grew up in the 60s in the States, you grew up during the Vietnam War. That means when you turn 19, you were drafted. And most of my friends who went didn't even really know where Vietnam was or have any real idea of the issues involved. They got called and they went because the government told them it was the right thing to do. They had that blind faith that so many young soldiers have and that blind faith in 1967 would get you killed. And now there's 50,000 names on a black wall in Washington, D.C., names of good people who fought a bad war who didn't have the information, the chance, or the vision to make their own moral decision when the times called for it. Now, I know they processed 15,000 South African visas for the show tonight. And I want to say welcome. I'm glad you came. I guess there's a lot of young guys out there that are conscription age for the South African Army. Well, I guess there can't be much worse than living in a society that's at war with itself, under a government at war with its own people and being required to support that government. And I just want to say to all young South Africans that I do not envy your position. But we're here tonight to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Declaration of Human Rights. Article 1, which states all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms set forth in the Declaration without distinction of any kind, such as race, color, sex, religion, political opinion. Governments are supposed to protect these rights for all of their citizens. And my prayers are with the young men here that you can use your hearts and voices in the struggle for the dignity and freedom of all the African people. Because whether it's the systematic apartheid of South Africa or the economic apartheid of my own country, where we segregate our underclass in ghettos of all the major cities, there can be no peace without justice. And where there is apartheid, systematic or economic, there is no justice. And where there is no justice, there is only war.
Mary pregnant The man that was all she wrote For my 19th birthday I got a union card and a wedding coat We went down to the courthouse The judge went on to rest The wedding day smiles and walked down the aisle Flies, no wedding dress The night we went down to the river Head to the river we died Oh, down to the river we Job working construction with a John Stan company. But lately, there ain't been no work on account of the economy. But all those things that seem so important, they just vanish right into the air. Yeah, I just act like I don't.
Gracias. Muchas gracias. Oh, this is uh, this is the last night of our tour. I just want to take this time to thank thank the members of our crew who have done an, an impossible job. We couldn't have couldn't have made all this real without them. Thank the production. I'd like to thank Jack Neely. Where are you, handsome? I'd like to thank Tracy and Sting and Peter Gabriel. You still enjoy. I'd like to thank them for their uh, inspiration. I've learned a lot about music and commitment. And I'd like to thank them for assisting me in my wardrobe throughout this tour. Gracias, and you so. All right, well, all I gotta say is, I wanna see your hands now. I wanna see you shake your Spain, we went to India, we went to Africa, we went to South America, we went to Philadelphia now. But I want you to know.
Stand up for your right. Get up, stand up. Don't give up the fight. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your right. Get up, stand up. Don't give up the fight. Most people say a great God will come from the sky. Take away everything and make everybody be high. But if you know what life is worth, you will look to yours on earth. And now you see the light. Stand up for your right. Get up, stand up. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your right. Get up, stand up.